I picked up this galvanized bucket from Michael's. They were having a 60% off. I believe you can also get similar buckets at Hobby Lobby. And I started by painting it with the Citron by Wise Owl. And I applied two coats. I am using a Klingon brush. Now this bucket is kind of like a half a bucket. The back of it is flat. So it's great to use with a wreath or any type of hanging. I be began by applying with an art brush black at the top. I made a black band. And then a black band at the bottom. and then one in the center. Putting that aside to let dry, I made these two patterns. If anybody needs them, just let me know. I'll have Jamie make a PDF. But they were nothing special. They're just teardrops. One is larger than the other. And I'm using this um, tin pan that I got from uh, Family Dollar. And I liked it because I had a little pattern just a little, uh, like a floral pattern on it. And I'm just cutting out these two shapes. Again, one is larger than the other. They're kind of like a, a teardrop type shape. But you do want the two large ones to pretty much match themselves and the smaller ones to match themselves. And now I'm going to glue them, kind of staggering them. The, the large one's going to be on top, and the smaller one is going to be peeking through the bottom of the larger one. And I'm using E6000 and a little bit of a hot glue gun just to have it dry quicker for me. And I'm going to paint these black. You can see the tin peeking through. I did not do two coats as I kind of wanted you to still be able to see um, the design of the underlying tin. Once that dried, I am dry brushing with the Citron and a cheap, uh, chip brush, which is just an inexpensive brush that you can get from pretty much any hardware store. I created a hole at the top of the, the uh, bucket and also through... Um, we're going to have these as wings through the upper part of my wings. And I took a, uh, a knob that I had and I am attaching these together at the top of the bucket. And now you have this, uh, cute little bee bucket and I'm just putting, um, pipe cleaners at the top and just doing a little bit more black. And then I did go in with a little bit more Citron. For more tutorials, go check us out at YouTube or chalkitupfancy.com for any paint products or brushes. Thank you so much.